Develop Project Charter is the process of developing a document that formally authorizes a project or a phase and then documenting the initial requirements that satisfy the stakeholders' needs and expectations. This is an important document because it outlines the purpose for the project, summary budget, milestones, high-level requirements, and a high-level project description. You can imagine that without this document, it would be difficult to successfully manage a project and understand what's involved. Generally, this document is issued by the project initiator or sponsor. Remember that for each process, we'll mention the inputs, tools and techniques, and outputs, and we'll call those ITTOs for short. So the ITTOs of this process are as follows. Here's the inputs. Let's talk about enterprise environmental factors, also referred to as EEFs, which include the environment of the project. For example, the organizational culture and systems, government regulations, or project management information systems. Another input is organizational process assets, or OPAs, which are all the lessons learned documents, methodologies, templates, procedures, and so on. Both of these are needed and can drive the development of the project charter. Another key input to the project charter is the project statement of work, which is a narrative description of products or services that the project will deliver. This statement includes, one, the business need, in other words, why is the project needed? Two, the product scope description, in other words, what should the project do? And three, the strategic plan. In other words, how does the project support the long-term goals of the organization? Another key input is the business case, and this includes the cost-benefit analysis and any other information that's needed from a business standpoint to select the project. This information can include one or more of the following, market demand, organizational need, customer request, technological advance, legal requirement, ecological impact, and social need. In other words, the business case is a required input because it comes about as a result of one of these needs or potential benefits. Now, what do we mean by expert judgment as a tool or technique? This is expertise that any group or individual with specialized knowledge or training that will bring and benefit the project. This could come from a consultant, professional associations, subject matter experts, or stakeholders, or from any number of other sources. This is a common tool and technique that you will see used in many other processes in project management. The actual project charter is our desired output here, and this is the document that's put together by the initiator or sponsor. The project charter is extremely important. It is the very first document that we produce in the project. As a result, Let's look at a project charter for the following project. I want you to consider an example where you are the project manager and have been asked to build a new school building for primary education in Los Angeles. The school will be designed to have a maximum capacity of 500 students. A purpose or justification of the project would be a place for children to study. The project description is a summary of the business case. A high-level project description should state why your organization is taking on the project, the purpose behind the project, and the main benefit, and who the customer is. Here's an example. The school is being developed to provide a place for economically disadvantaged children to learn and study in a positive environment in the Los Angeles area, and it will be beneficial because it will help advance the knowledge base of the community and provide a means of giving back to the community. Let's take a look at this example. High-level project and product requirements. Do we need a school? School for 500 students. A summary budget, for instance, $10 million. A summary milestone schedule, two years. Project objectives and success criteria. How will we know what we have achieved or what we have set out to achieve? An increase in the number of students that become educated and graduate from school greater levels of partnership with community organizations.